and other forces supporting Ukraine are reacting strong enough to what seems to be extraordinary steps that Russia is taking now? Hello, thank you so much for having me. Well, uh, the Western leaders have condemned uh, so-called referendums and called them sham referendums. But is this enough? Does it stop Putin from actually annexing our territories and then moving his forces onto those territories and saying that right now they are protecting new Russian territories? No, condemnation does not stop Putin. We all know that. What stops Putin is additional weapons. What stops Putin is additional support for Ukraine and sanctions that would uh, critically uh, decrease his economy. Look at the eighth package of sanctions that is prepared by the European countries. I do not think that there is anything there that would actually stop him or at least uh, push him back. There are limitations on um, the diamonds uh, export, there are limitations on the oil prices, and there are limitations on uh, the operation of various Russian banks. But it is not the hit that Putin needs to take to stop doing what he is doing. He is basically annexing Ukrainian territory uh, and committing uh, all kinds of war crimes in the 21st century. So the response of the Western allies needs to be much stronger because though maybe it is hurting Putin and Russia a little bit, it doesn't stop them from moving forward with his plan. He is... Uh, going with uh, the same idea that he had eight years ago when uh, Russia annexed Crimea, had sham referendum there and moved for, uh, their forces to protect their new territories. We see where it led us. The dictator became just stronger and uh, uh, gathered his forces to move further with uh, annexing the territory of the sovereign country, which Ukraine is. So right now, uh, we do need more weapons. We do need more support because this is the only proper way to contradict what Putin is doing. If we got our weapons earlier, we would be able to take back more of our territories and then the referendums would not be held on these territories. Unfortunately, even what we are uh, promised right now, we will only receive like in a couple of months and that may be too late. So right now we are calling for all the democratic world leaders to speed up all the processes and to supply all kinds of weapons that Ukraine may need uh, to push Russians back from our territories. And I just wondered what your reaction was to what's been happening over the last couple of days. These um, ex explosions on these pipelines, which has uh, now been confirmed to be gas leaks on Nord Stream, which carries gas from Russia to the EU. Uh, some EU leaders have said, look, this is, was absolutely uh, a state actor who could have who would have had to have done this. They haven't necessarily directly accused Russia, but there is that implication that Russia is committing sabotage, essentially. What's your reaction to that? Uh, the main question when you hear about uh, things like this is who benefits of it? And we are all sure that Russia benefits of it because it strangles European countries and creates more and more tension before the winter comes. We knew in Ukraine that Russia will be attacking our fuel storages, our gas storages, to make sure that Ukrainian people will not have uh, enough of energy supplies to survive winter. This is what Russia is doing uh, right now to his uh, allies or to, to the countries that are buying uh, gas from them. They are saying, no, not us. There's just there were some leaks. There are some issues. Uh, we have nothing to do with that. But the main goal is to make sure that this winter will be extremely hard to all European citizens and uh, uh, that it will create political pressure and it will make uh, the European countries to pull back on some of the sanctions and to pull back on the support of Ukraine. This should not happen. The issue is that we need to survive this winter as a united front. And we all know it will be extremely hard, but that should not uh, distract us from what is important. Only unity can uh, allow us to win the war against Putin. 
if we start uh, backing off, then uh, uh, then he will win. And this is not what we can allow to happen. Uh, you see that Russian Russians are burning their gas at the borders just to show how uh, well uh, they can survive without the European money. But um, it is very clear to me that they have something to do with this sabotage.